We get asked all the time, how do we live in a van full time without going crazy? Well, today we're gonna let you in on Ali and I's secret to combine van life with house life without spending any extra money. Welcome to one of our biggest secrets of van lives. We are part-time house sitters. All right, van fam, you know how much we travel using our van, the van that Allie built by hand, which I must say is round of applause. <laughs> You guys have seen us travel to Mexico, to Canada, all across the US. A lot of people ask us, what do we do when we get burnt out? Do we get burnt out? And the question that we wanna answer in this video is, yes, we do get burnt out. And here is a secret trick that we use to A, have new experiences, but B, make sure that van life is always fresh and exciting. Before we dive in, we wanted to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network. That means it keeps your identity safe by encrypting all the data sent between your device and the internet. With Surfshark VPN, you can change the location of your device by selecting a new location anywhere in the world. Surfshark has 3,200 plus servers in 65 different countries. We use Surfshark to browse the web safely. Their clean web feature blocks Box ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, which gives us peace of mind. We can even use services like Netflix to watch shows that aren't available inside the US by changing our location to a different country where that show is available. Surfshark also monitors your personal data by checking for breaches and uses real-time alerts to protect your identity. If you travel as much as we do, Surfshark VPN is a must-have. Use code Ali and Dan, all one word, to get 83% off and three months free of Surfshark VPN. We have a link in the video description below, so sign up today and let's get back to today's episode. Well, we have just arrived here in McCall, Idaho, and we are Woo! really, really, really excited to be here. Um, we thought we would share with you how we use house sitting in the applications that we use to add it into our van life lifestyle to give us a little bit of leeway, a little bit of break on the road. Okay guys, so we kind of wrote down some notes here to make sure that we could give you guys everything that we want to share concisely because there's so many benefits, but there's also some drawbacks to house sitting. The first note that I want to share with you guys is how amazing it is to get to experience all sorts of different areas on our own schedule. Basically, I kind of look at the map and figure out where we want to go and kind of space it out. When are we going to need a break? You know, August, <laughs> we could have we could have dealt with one in July. It was so hot. But August Sorry. is such a hot month that we just figured, okay, well, let's look something. We're going to start heading back west. Let's look for something west. Finding the actual house is a, a different story, but the there are tons of options. So it was like, what seems like the best that will match our dates? And yeah. you can use those filters on Trusted House Sitter. And you get to see like, oh, there's opportunities here, here, here. So you can really actually almost plan a trip around it if if you know the direction you're going. Yeah, and that's kind of what we did. So we left Michigan and we had about three weeks before we started this house sit. So we planned our three week road trip through Montana to get to here, to make it to here on time. And then what we have planned afterwards yeah. kind of flows leaving from here. But this was on our way enough and we've never even heard of McCall and it's amazing it's here. Fantastic. So we get to see these new areas and feel almost a part of the community. Yeah. And this is by no means sponsored by Trusted House Sitter. We yeah. just really we, love it. We would like it to be. <laughs> <laughs> so the second one that we wanted to share with you guys is house sitting allows you to break up your travel segments and then regroup. And that's like kind of one of the main things we get asked, especially with, for people that don't know much about like van life or like think it's kind of crazy is like, how do you live in a van that's so small all the time and don't you go crazy and how do you shower and all these different questions. I think the reason we love house sitting so much is it really solves that problem of us not going crazy living in a van 100, 365 days out of the year. It's also really easy to make it through say a month or two months or three months when you know you have yeah. <laughs> a house to stop and have a break so at. And every time we get to a house, it's like I have this whole, almost like mental list of stuff that I right. do, you know, shower, wash our clothes, wash all the sheets in the van, clean the van, the van gets so 
dirty and gross and wash all the rugs in the van and yeah. give the dogs a really good wash, rest, rest <laughs> you know, sure. take a bath. And Dan typically hops right in the kitchen and stuff like that. I like, so. to, I like to find the, the kitchens and start cooking. We definitely use all of the amenities immediately and we didn't need to be stopped for a whole month. But because I'm pregnant, we are actually looking for longer house sits at yeah. the time being. But you could just stop every couple of weeks for like a long weekend. Right or something like that. Yeah, and you just need maybe a few days to regroup and it really does recharge your battery. Yeah. So that was a huge point for us to bring up. And then you can literally recharge all of your batteries and <laughs> yeah. all of your equipment as well if you happen to be running <laughs> low on solar power. It's another thing we definitely do. One thing we really love about this and, and a major point is that you get to meet homeowners and, and like learn about the area from them, but they will reuse your services in the future. So if, if you, a lot of times we meet people that have never done it before where they're first house sitters. They're pretty much gonna come back to us or reach out to us at least in the future from our experience and say, hey, are you guys available these dates? We're thinking about taking a trip. It is for free. We do not pay. We pay for a year long service with trusted house sitters. It's like 130 bucks. It's really inexpensive yeah. for the entire year. Um, Pays for itself. So, you know, the owners of the house pay for it and we pay for it as house sitters as well but it connects us and then they don't pay us anything and basically they just expect us to take care of our house and in return we get to stay at their house mm -hmm. um, and we look after their pets of course there's not always pets sometimes people yeah. just have plants or just want somebody to like gather their mail we've had really good reviews so we get a lot more offers now that we've done got a few under our belt versus when we first started which is awesome yeah, and there's also background and security checks and things like that, so you know you're not walking into some total yeah. psychopath. Yeah, and that's house. what the payment goes towards. I feel like it's a very, very valuable um, part of trusted house sitter specifically that you have to pay to get on both ends of the uh, of the experience. So obviously, there's so many benefits to being a house sitter, and we love it. But there are some things to take note of, and you might consider them drawbacks or cons. We just really take note of them and, and want to share them with you so you guys know what to expect. The first one especially applies to us is when you're traveling with dogs, your own dogs, typically you're not going to, from our experience, be as desirable for a house, especially when you have two dogs. Yeah, I mean, I apply for kind of like even more than I think we need to, like, a, mm, a, like three smart. or four and then one will typically get back to us that, that it is might be a good fit. The thing is, is everybody's pets have different needs. Yeah, and that's the thing. We don't want to make owners uncomfortable by bringing in our dogs into their pet's environment. So we want to avoid, if pets are welcoming to our pets, like the pets they have here, then it works out perfectly. If not, we don't really want to make yeah. anyone uneasy. So the next thing is that sometimes things can go wrong and, and you know, you f I feel like you need to be a responsible adult and sometimes pets get sick and you need to be able to act quickly, you need to be able to like have some money. Maybe you need to put up for a vet thing or a vet stay overnight. Also, you might break something in the house. You need to kind of know the lay of the land and being in an unfamiliar spot. Sometimes you can have more mistakes happen that way. And the needs of the house as well. You know, yeah. sometimes the male needs to be grabbed in a certain way, when to take out the garbage, little things like that, what plants garbage to be watered and stuff like that. But I think is, you know, as far as anything breaking or anything happening, the best I have ever, the best thing my mother has ever taught me is just honesty is the yeah. best policy. Yeah, you just know, come out with it. If we have a mistake or an yeah. accident, we just have to tell them right away. Mom is so smart. Of Mom's course are. mom would say that. The way you want to get started with this is to find the websites that you want to use. Um, we can recommend Trusted House Sitter, one of the largest ones out there. Um, we also use Rover and Allie will give you a couple distinctions between the two and something to, to take note of. So Trusted House Sitter, you search your area and your dates and what you want to do. Yeah. So it's really easy to find something to fit into your schedule. People can also contact you, but that's a little less common. With Rover, you have to change your address and then wait for somebody to contact you. So it's a little more difficult to find house sits and have them set up for traveling in different locations. Typically the next step is to set up either a voice call or a FaceTime style call, Zoom style call. One thing that I like to treat that as is not as like we are getting interviewed, like are we you know acceptable for them, but rather, rather a two-way street, do we want to go and be a part of their house and 
work with their animal or whatever their, I guess, needs, do they feel like people that we connect with? And that's really key. Our profile basically has all of our information, what we've done, what we do for a living, how we travel around our dogs and how they get along with other dogs and so on. But then I tailor a message to each application that I apply for and say, mm -hmm. I read their profile and what their needs are and then I tailor each message and say, okay, this is what we can do, this is what we are good at, or this is you know, maybe something new for us and just be honest and upfront in that first message. That way there's no surprises or right. waste of time because it does kind of take a lot of time contacting people and applying and searching and so on. So after you've done the call, everything feels good, you've connected with the owner and you're ready to move forward, they will send you a request and you will accept that request and then you are fully booked in and you can start planning for your first house sit. And Usually for us, that means starting to drive. Basically, we just like to keep in communication um, and let them know what time we're going to arrive on that day and so on and so forth. Details. And um, we, I like to send photos of the dogs and things like that while they are away. Oh. A lot of people don't have service while they're away. Pro but um, we like to send some photos and keep yeah. in contact and just let them know that things are still going good. And one of the most important things is we always leave the house better than we found it ideally, or at least exactly how we found it. Um, we take care of their dogs, we do tons of walks. I mean, we're at the lake almost every day with uh, our two dogs and Pele. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any tips or suggestions for us, things that we didn't mention that we can share with other people, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to share those and read those. Well, we'd love to answer any questions. There's a little bit of navigating at first, but once you yeah. get the hang of it, it is super wonderful. We also wanna say thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you guys again real soon. Adios.